you know, for a minute there when Jack Swagger got in trouble and it looked like he might be getting suspended, I actually thought maybe they could give that spot to Mark Henry. But unfortunately for the Hall of Pain, it won't elect any members at WrestleMania this year because somehow, miraculously, Jack Swagger has survived. And I think he should be sending a card, some flowers, and a thank you to the one and only Glenn Beck. First time that's been said on this show. Yeah, I've never thanked Glenn Beck for anything, but tonight I will thank him for saving Jack Swagger's job because if he weren't on the air bitching about Zeb Coulter and how this was a mockery of the Tea Party, then good old Jack Swagger might be on the unemployment line too. Now, I'm trying to figure this out. Is Glenn Beck with Fox or NBC? What station is he with? No, he's completely independent. He has his own studios. He used to be on Fox, but... He was too uh, too wacky even for Fox, and that's saying something. Too wacky for Fox? That's like saying Dino Bravo was too French for Quebec. <laughs> I know, but it's actually true. They they actually got some heat from people. Uh, it goes back a few years. If you look up Glenn Beck's uh, bio, at least from an objective source, don't go to Glenn Beck's own website for this, but if you check around and read the bios on him, he got some heat for Fox News on their coverage of Barack Obama's presidency that they really didn't want because Fox News got painted by no less than the president as not a real news organization. And that was about the time that Glenn Beck saw the writing on the wall and went somewhere else. Okay, so getting back to Zeb Coulter, <laughs> we talked about the whole Glenn Beck thing and how Glenn Beck probably saved his job by mentioning how Zeb Coulter was a mockery of the Tea Party and so Jack Swagger is now getting the kind of publicity he could never have dreamed of. But I do have to ask you a question, and this stems from a conversation that took place on Raw Reaction. I have to know, do you feel Zeb Coulter is too offensive for television, or do you feel like this is just an angle to get heat for Swagger and you're okay with it? Well, I've been thinking about this, and the whole Zeb Coulter thing, as a Canadian, you know, I'm trying to figure out if I ended up getting a job in radio in the States, would Coulter have the same arguments for me coming to the States, taking a job from a real American? I can already answer that for you. I have an answer. Okay. Did you see the segment on SmackDown where Wade Barrett offered Zeb and Swagger his help? No. Yeah. He uh, basically said, my services are available to you because... I want to help you clean up this country, too. And they said, you're not the solution. You're part of the problem. You're just another foreigner coming over here taking our jobs. Jesus. But you know what? I I did enjoy the consistency there. I'm like, you know what? If they're going to be xenophobic bigots, they might as well hate the British as well as the Mexicans. If they're going to play this angle, play it to the hilt. So I give them credit for being consistent about the angle. So I was trying to figure out if he was against illegal immigration or immigration in general. I think he's just against anybody taking a job from an American, period. Uh, I don't know. I do they, Is this, uh, I don't mean to isolate certain people south of a certain line, but is this a southern U.S. problem or is this everywhere in the States? Well, you're going to find pockets of people who believe what Zeb Coulter believes in many places in the United States. I wouldn't just say the South, because quite frankly, the first time I saw Zeb Coulter on TV, I thought of the Michigan militia. His whole beard, his whole American rights, you know, his, it just basically reminded me of every single Upper Peninsula group that you would never want to hang out with in a million years. So you can be in Nebraska, Maryland, D.C., Washington State, Texas, it doesn't matter. I mean, not to say that there aren't maybe a a greater percentage in certain states that are on the border of bigots as compared to non-border states, but I think bigotry is something that is not just located in the South. Okay. 